So on my last video, uh, I was running these uh, full metal joiners that I got from AliExpress. And while I did think they improved uh, print quality, what I did notice is that uh, the location of the pulleys wasn't perfect, or at least on the right, uh, the right joiner wasn't perfect, and it caused a, a slight uh, skew or like where the belts were not parallel. So uh, because of this, um, I had suspected that um, my prints weren't geometrically printing perfectly, like uh, right angles weren't actually right angles or a little off. Uh, so I went uh, t to test this and correct it, and luckily for us in Clipper, there is a pretty easy way to do this, and it's called skew correction. So the first thing you're going to do is come over to clipper3d.org and search for skew correction. And that's going to bring you right to the section. Um, and it's going to tell you here basically what you're doing is you're going to print a calibration object and they give you a link right here to this one, uh, this calibration square. So you're going to want to download this file and uh, you're going to print it out on your printer. <clears throat> now once you print it, you need to take the measurements and it's got letters on each corner. You've got your, your A and C measurement, your B and D measurement, and then your your A to D measurement on the edges here. Now if you wanted to go really detailed into this uh, CNC kitchen just uh, released a video a few weeks ago uh, showing a, a different a little bit different method with a different tool to download that goes into much more detail than just you know taking three measurements. Uh, this is a method is a lot easier it's a lot faster but uh, CNC kitchens uh, method there that he goes over is probably going to be more accurate but for my purposes I think this worked out for me pretty well so this is what I did uh, so I printed this out and then I went and started measuring the corners so basically you're going to take your calipers and just like the website uh, Clipper website says you're going to measure your your corners your A and C corner your B and D corner and then uh, the sides A and D and you go ahead and you write those down and once you write those down, uh, you come back to the web page, and it's just going to tell you that it's as simple as um, putting those lengths, your AC, your BD, and your AD lengths, into a clipper command called set underscore skew. So you're going to put set underscore skew space XY equals, and then you're going to have your three measurements. Um, in your the end of your start G code. Now, when you put these measurements in, there's no spaces in between the measurements. It's just the me the first measurement, comma, second measurement, comma, and the third measurement. Um, I mistakenly had a space in there, and it wouldn't work for the first couple times, and it took me a, a minute to figure out why. But there's no spaces only between the skew and the X Y. So um, to put that in your start G code, if you're using um, say like Super Slicer, you're going to find that in your printer settings and then go to this uh, custom G code tab and in there you want to put that the very bottom here set skew XY and then these are the measurements that I just got uh, for my measurement on, on my my part for Cura you're gonna have to go into your uh, your manage printers and then machine settings and then in here right here same same command at the very bottom of your start Z code with your three measurements once you've uh, set the command in your slicer you just need to come over to your clipper interface go to your printer config file and all you have to do is you just need to add the skew correction in brackets so you're gonna add this command here skew skew correction that tells clipper that it's now needs to support um, the command that you put in your slicer. So uh, I, I just put that note here to put in my slicer this command so that it matches um, but um, it does not go here. You can set a profile. Uh, the, the documents do tell you how to say how to set SKU and you can save that profile to, to your machine but um, then you've got to load it every time you turn on your machine or you start printing. So I just thought it was easier just to keep it in the um, in the g-code and then it's it loads with every single print you don't have to worry about setting a profile and saving it and loading the profile it just automatically will will happen here then you just print the object again and when you're done you take your new measurements 
uh, just to double check. So here's mine after I, I took my, my new measurements. You can see that um, it's pretty much almost perfect now. It's 0 0.01 millimeters off where before we had a 0 0.3 millimeter error or skew within about 140 millimeter span of the object. And I think for anything that I'm printing, that's going to be well within any tolerances that I'm going to need. So I'm pretty happy with this. Now, if for whatever reason you need super duper tolerance, tight tolerances, you can uh, go look at the other methods of skew correction or even fine tune this a little bit more to uh, try to get that as perfect as you can get. Uh, but I think for me and for most people as hobbyists, 3D printers, this is going to work just fine.